Bearing the name of Africa's swift and agile cheetah, this versatile aircraft ranks among Arms Corps' most ambitious and technologically complex success stories. Only recently formally commissioned for operations, this aircraft, an upgrading of the Mirage 3, heralds a new era of self-sufficiency and heightened operational capability for the Air Force. With advanced electronic systems housed in its gracefully elongated nose, this jet fighter provides a supersonic platform for a deadly assortment of South African produced weapons. They include the revolutionary Kukri missile system linked to a built-in helmet sight, the CB-470 cluster bomb, the Mark 82 bomb and an upgraded 30mm cannon. Taken in conjunction with our pilots' flying skills, the Air Force is confident that the Cheetah is more than a match for anything they may encounter in the southern African skies. British defence correspondent Terry Gander outlines the African problem. Uh, a lot of the border states, I notice, are busy rearming themselves with more modern equipment. But it isn't going to do them a great deal of good in many cases, because having the equipment and just using it once or twice on parades is great. What really matters is day in, day in, day out, maintenance, servicing, looking after and keeping the standard of training up. And this is where many of the uh, African nations at the moment are sadly lacking. Um, it's very well having the latest MiGs or the latest this out of the other aircraft, the latest flashing things that, that really look good on the, on, the news, on the newsreels. What really matters is the day-to-day -day maintenance and, and looking after that equipment. And this is where so many African nations seem to fall down. This is where the South Africans do score because they do look after their equipment. They do design it to be exactly right for their situation and they have the skills and techniques to be able to do it quite some time to come.